Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 14th through the 20th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Aquarius. What's going on for you? The overall energy for the reading, the Page of Swords, seemingly not much is happening for you, seemingly. There's definitely a sense of not a lot of energy being put into something, but I feel like there's a lot more going on underneath all that, but we'll see. In the recent past, the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Emperor. Ooh, somebody really didn't want to let something go. There's definitely a sense of conflict, almost like imagine it as me and you arguing about something and at some point it doesn't even matter if I'm right or you're right or whoever's right or wrong. It's a matter of just drop it, just drop it. And I feel like you just didn't want to. You're like, nope, I'm not going to drop it. Nope. Mm -mm. Quite, quite the deceptive energy there, but I don't feel like you gave a shit. So I don't know who was in the middle of this with you, but there's definitely a sense of ego there. Like, no, tomorrow, like, nope, not dropping this. No way in hell I'm going to drop this one. Okay. In the current situation, the Hermit, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Well... This is a situ the same situation, things got a whole lot better, you know, where things are being treated from a place of good intentions, from a place of love, um, not a place of ego anymore. Or if this is just for you, you know, there's that sense of healing of just kind of trying to reach that place within yourself to possibly not... <laughs> Uh, reach those places again of I'm just not going to drop it anymore um, I don't know it's just a place of healing that you're showing me here and it carries a lot of love uh, so it's pretty good in the immediate future the hangman, the sun, the three of cups ooh you're basking in some happiness here I mean you're giving me the energy of happiness of love, of good times you're just chilling there within this energy so you're just kind of in the middle of this energy and you're like ah oh, it feels so good and I don't blame you, it does feel good. <laughs> it's one of those that looks really good, feels really good. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let me do that page of swords. The knight of wands, the page of swords, again, the five of pentacles. What is this? You, you have a biff of someone here. There's definitely a situation of... Uh, man, uh... I feel like it's even beyond the point of just drop it, you know? Um, one of the energies that's showing up here is very instigative. It's very, you know, it's poking and poking and poking. Like, just let it go already. Nope. Let me still go at them and poke. And, uh, and I don't feel like it's you. Could be. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like you're the poked one. I don't know. It's something that, uh, man, I don't know what it is. But it is looking overall like, you know, you're done with it. You're out of that game. But they're still playing that game. Let's do the Five of Swords in the recent past there. The Three of Cups, the High Priestess, the Empress. Interesting. Very interesting. Because this is someone quite meaningful. It's not just, uh, you know, somebody that... We got along just fine, and then we just didn't. Mm -mm. This is someone quite important. But in one situation in particular, somebody didn't want to let something go here. Uh, for the Five of Wands, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. See, things are looking like they're straightening up a little bit. Like, okay, we're finally letting it go. We're good. We're good. There's no mentioning of whatever the hell that is anymore. We're good. We're doing good. And then bam. It's back. 
what the hell is that? Someone is not letting go of something here. It's quite frustrating. Let's do the Emperor in the recent past. The Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. No, you're, you're, you're coming from a loving place here. You're coming, you know, your energy is straight up from your heart in this situation. So the intention is definitely that of let's just let it go. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with here possibly has a hard time letting things go. And I don't know what it's about, but it's about something in particular. It's not about the whole oh, we had a fight and you're an asshole and you're always going to be an asshole in any kind of manner and in any kind of angle I look at you from. No, it's not that. It's not that. It's, I don't know, maybe you have this agreement that they cook and you wash the dishes and one night you forgot to wash them and ever since then, every day it's like, remember that one night? Mm-hmm. And this is something quite small. I feel like it's something deeper than washing the dishes, but it could be that too. Who knows? And somebody turned it into something deeper. Or there's definitely a deeper meaning behind the, the dishes there, for sure. Um, but yeah, some, something like that. Let's do the hermit in the current situation. The emperor, the seven of cups, the strength card. I feel like you're, you keep on looking at ways in which to address this and in which, you know, through which you can heal this situation. Um, there's definitely a sense of wanting to heal this, not abandoning it, but healing it. So you're kind of looking, trying to expand, trying to open up to, to look at all sorts of other ways to deal with the situation. Uh, again, from a very loving space, the Queen of Cups, you get the Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Cups. It's just not working out. Something about the situation, there's there's quite the blockage in there. I mean, if it's you and you're trying, you know, all of these different ways of approaching this, and every time you're coming from a loving space here and it's just not working out, I don't feel like it's you. You know, it's that situation where it's them not you um, for once you can not use it's me not you kind of a situation it's quite the opposite because um, it's a two-way street here I don't know what kind of situation this is I just see it as being very meaningful to you you know so um, let's do the queen of wands you're also dealing with someone quite fiery quite passionate maybe you know that quick ton there is is just kind of blah, blah, blah. Who, who the hell knows because i see them quite you know not not really taking things in just kind of blurring things out based on their pain based on all sorts of things that are definitely not healed on their side um so uh, uh, it's a tough one uh for the queen of wands the ten of swords the judgment card the two of wands yeah yeah, it's like anything you bring in, the, the you know, the, the a new dish detergent or whatever the hell you're wanting to bring in. Keeping yourself open to as many possibilities as possible um, just doesn't work for them. They cut it down. They, they just shut it down. They're like, nope, 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 nope. But I brought this, nope, but it, nope, but no. You yeah. know? And then they just wait, almost waiting for the next thing that you're going to bring in to reject it instantly. Okay, let's do the hangman. In the immediate future, you get the six of wands, the four of swords, the hermit. This is a time where you give yourself some time. You're like, fuck this. N not fuck this, because you're still looking at this from a place of pain. But fuck this in the sense of you move to the side. It's me time now. So you're definitely taking this time and it feels good. So it's either you're taking a vacation or I don't know what you're doing for yourself there. But you're doing something really nice where it's healing time just for you. Not for you and this situation. Um, 
definitely taking some me time there, which feels really good. For the sun, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. You're definitely showing up almost recharged, you know, after you give yourself some time. It feels like you plugged yourself in. You're ready for the, the, the next round of this or whatever. You're coming in with fresh energy and it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, it almost looks like you're coming up with a plan too of how to make things work. So, I don't know, looks good. Let's see the Three of Cups. The Eight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant. This is kind of leading you into a place of... Mm, almost feeling... I wouldn't say nothing, because you're not there yet. But... So you took yourself out of the situation. You put yourself to the side here. You're recharged. You're like full on, battery full. Okay, we're good to go. You're coming back in. When you step back into the energy of this, you're, you're almost looking like you're... Even though you're fully recharged, you're looking like you, you've got nothing to give anymore. Or you feel that way. Emotionally, you look drained when it comes to this situation, which is quite ironic because you just recharged. But you recharged for self, not necessarily for this connection. Now, energetically speaking, there's still quite the connection there. It's still ongoing. That's fully charged. Physically speaking, after so many tries of whatever this is, it looks like it's taking a toll on you big time because you're trying something here you're trying for things to to work out and you've got nobody to work with not at this time so it, it's gonna drain you even when you take the time to recharge it's still gonna feel like no it's not enough like i i ran out of resources here you know um so it may feel like that now i don't see anything beyond that i just see you coming back into this energy of you and the soul connection to you and then just feeling a, a major sense of disconnection from it. But at the same time, energetically speaking, still very much connected. So, this is a tough reading. Uh, let's see what the universe has. To close it off. The Justice card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the universe is kind of, you know putting all of this in three cards just like it usually does and it kind of like really why couldn't you say that from the beginning you let me talk here for 10 to 15 minutes about three cards that you're showing me at the end really um so basically you trying to kind of balance things out in the situation you're dealing with and then flipping into that side of drained and then going and recharging and thinking you can do this over and over again. But at some point, you're going to have nothing to give to this anymore. You know, no matter how many times you go and recharge. Because I feel like the realization of this is a two-way street. And I can't be the only one that's giving here over and over again. is going to hit you and it's going to hit you hard. So in that case, because again, no idea what this is to you. But it feels like one of those things where you would tell me, I can't let this go. Which you don't have to let this go. But you have to stop putting in the effort if you see there's no response from the other side. Nobody's saying you let it go. You know? So, um, and by the way, I don't agree with that kind of an argument of I can't let something go. You can't let anything go. Um, even if it's family, I don't want to hear it, you know, there's, there's cases in which, so what if they're family, you know, if they're there to harm you, not to love you and support you, yeah, you can't let that go, just like anybody else in your life, so, no, I don't want to hear that argument, but I will tell you, you don't have to, but you can very well establish how much of yourself you give into this when the other energy is just not responding back to that because it's just like a just like a computer you're you know the more you use it the more it's going to get drained and yeah you plug it back in but 
Is it ever gonna give the, the same way it gave in the beginning parts? No, it doesn't have enough core there anymore. So, on, I'm just saying. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.